the essence of Padmini Vidya. Padmanani, Padmuru, Padmakshi, Padmasambhavi, Tanmi Bhajasi Padmakshi, Yena Saukhyam Lavamyam. The essence of Padmini Vidya is that it awakens our all Padmas, all lotuses, all chakras. And as it happens, we become healthier and happier in our body. We become more clearer, sharper and more stable in our mind. That is at very personal level. At another level, which sounds very, very worldly, Padmini Vidya is a very, very, very unique form of Divine Mother Sri Lakshmi, that radiant Hiranya Varna Harini, the golden deer. This golden deer who just emerges from the lotus and thus called Padmini, when she emerges, what happens? That all the hidden, dormant capacities in our body and mind find their way to blossom. That is at a very esoteric level, yogic level, at a spiritual level. But also amazing thing, which uh, this scripture, I'm glad that I brought it, Markandeya Purana. This is Purana, from where even the treasure trove of Tantra, the Durga Saptashati, has also come from. Just as Bhagavad Gita is a small thin slice of another big book called Mahabharata, so uh, Durga Saptashati, 13 chapters of Durga Saptashati is a small slice of this wonderful scripture called Markandeya Purana. So it is in this Purana, there is beautiful description of and practice related to Padmini Vidya. Here, it just mentions in a very brief cursory manner that how it helps us awaken our different chakras mainly Lotus of the Heart, where Divine Mother Sri Lakshmi Padmini resides. That's one thing. Other thing is, it talks about eight Siddhis. And those eight Siddhis are very external looking eight Siddhis. So for example, one Siddhi, the very very first one, is called Padma. Name of that Siddhi is Padma. What it does? Somehow, it opens door to your own fortune, providence, destiny. All of us come here with our destiny. That destiny guides us that what kind of skill we must develop and how that skill is going to make sure that our life in this world is well taken care of. This is called being successful in the world. So the very first achievement, Siddhi, accomplishment that comes from this practice is called Padma, where we automatically, we may consciously or not unconsciously, we somehow we happen to become familiar with the mining of, trade of, trading of gold, silver, copper. Okay? And our livelihood, somehow it is associated. We, uh, let's say, we become part of, let's say, finance industry, where there is a, uh, these commodities are traded. And our livelihood comes to us through those commodities. So somehow we begin to, we, we become interested in taking courses and in our, inver, you know, in during the university time, um, which ultimately leads us, let's say, to find employment with uh, 
counterfeit Gerald. No? Commodity trading. And where we suddenly find our speciality project, where we are monitoring and helping, assisting the trade of gold, silver, copper, etc. It's amazing. A second Siddhi called Mahapadma. It is with precious uh, gems and semi precious gems and stones. Some of these Siddhis are Satvic nature, some of these Siddhis accomplishments are not some sort of Tamsic nature. It's amazing the way it describes. The thing is, all different forms of um, ways, all different ways of finding our place in this world and succeed in this world are divided in eight broad categories. And this Padmini Vidya somehow just awakens one or more than one of those different broad categories of our worldly achievements and success. So, this is so unique, but here on one hand it is referring to our awakening inside ourselves and find the greatest of all riches that is a healthy body and brilliant and vibrant mind stable and clean, calm, tranquil mind and at the same time here the worldly achievement too. So this is how Padmini Vidya works.